back to the channel. I hope you're having a great week. I have a super cute bell truss wig to show you guys, but before I get to that, let me tell you about the piece I'm wearing today. It's actually just a topper I pulled out of my closet um, and I did a little something different with it. Instead of um, making it fit, you know, and blending my hair with it in the front, I parted my hair in the front and brought it down. And then I clipped the topper in pretty far back on my scalp and then pulled the bio hair that I had back over the top of the topper and then just pulled it all up into this messy top knot. So that just shows you how diverse you can uh, make a topper if you want to, you know, do something crazy like this. It's a little messy, but it's different. So we're just going to go with it. All right, now to the bell truss piece. I want to show you guys. Look how cute this piece is. Lots of movement, lots of curl, a short fun flirty piece by Belle Trust. This one is called, now I know I'm going to totally butcher the pronunciation of this, but it's pronounced Devotion. Now that sounded French coming out. It's supposed to be Spanish. <laughs> so just know that it is the Spanish word for devotion and it's actually named after a um, coffee shop and it's, it's Spanish roast, so you pronounce it devotion, but it's spelled D-E-V-O-C-I-O-N. I'm just gonna say devotion, that's uh, the English pronunciation of it, and I'm just gonna keep butchering it if I try to say it with a Spanish accent. So we're just gonna call this devotion. <laughs> it's a very, like I said, cute synthetic wig by Belle Tress. Now this piece is heat friendly. I don't know how much heat you wanna put on these curls. Just putting my fingers in them, they feel so nice right now. I love a bell truss fiber. It's always very smooth, but it doesn't have an overall shiny look like some fibers do when they are very smooth to the touch. Now this is a tousled layer bob with, um, it's described as having a gentle wave. I would call this more of a curly, um, piece. I don't think this is uh, classified as a gentle wave. I see a lot of defined curl in here. So we're just going to go with that. Um, the nape is about four inches. The back is about 10 and a half and it's four and a half ounces. Now I do see some layering here in the front. So we're going to have some shorter pieces to play around with. Uh, let me talk to you about the color. I've never reviewed this color in Belle Trust before. This is coconut silver blonde. It's described as a pale silvery gray blonde blended with a light ash blonde. So you just have some very, very, very pale blonde pieces mixed with silver. Overall, definitely a grayish silver look. I wouldn't call this like a blonde look unless you wanna go with platinum. But even then, there's a lot of silver in this piece, which I think is really cool looking. The color again is coconut silver blonde. Okay, I am gonna go put her on so you can see what she is all about. Be screenshot ready, here are all the details on Belle Tress's devotion. Okay, here she is. This is Belle Tress's Devotion. Now, I wanted to talk to you guys about the color real quick because that's one of the very first things I noticed when I took this piece over to my mirror to put it on. I got out of the indirect sunlight, which is where I film my videos in front of a window. And like right now, when I showed it in the first clip, it looked very silvery gray. But when I took it out of the indirect light, I noticed a lot more blonde was coming through. So it is described as having a mix of of light ash blonde and this pale grayish color. So when you take it out of the indirect light, it looks a lot more blonde and a lot less silver. So it depends on what light you're in is what color is going to give off. But like I said, right now in this indirect light in front of my window, it definitely highlights the silvery pieces of this color. Again, the color is coconut silver blonde. So just wanted to give y'all a heads up about the color. All right, now to the style. Of course, the highlight is the beautiful bouncy curls that this has, and you'll see more of the curls um, when I do my 360. But you can make this piece very big, um, get in there and play with the roots and encourage the curl and make it very full. Or you can tame it down a little bit and um, make it a little less full just by kind of smoothing the pieces and kind of working the curls down a little bit. Now the thing with curly pieces, and this is a heat friendly piece, so you could use heat no hotter than 350 to style. I don't know if I would. I'm always a little leery about heat on 
synthetic curly pieces. Um, I wouldn't want it to fray or frizz on the ends, but you could style this with water. So at the end of the day, after you've worn it, I would pick through any tangles that you have and then just spritz it and take the curl that you want to reshape and just twist it um, and encourage it back to its original shape and let it air dry. And then in the morning, you can just kind of shake it out or finger tossle it and it'll keep its shape and keep your wig looking newer longer. So that's how I would style this piece. Now speaking of styling, you could definitely get an ear tuck with this piece or you could clip back a little piece and let this fun curl play right here. Um, and you can definitely wear it off of your face because of this color. Um, the lace is absolutely beautiful so you could definitely pull it back and not have to worry about seeing any of those knots because of the lighter piece. Now I don't know if I mentioned this in the first half of the video. I may have misspoken and said it had a mono top. It does not. It has a mono part. So the part is right here on the left hand side. That's where you're going to want to part it. And then again, it has the lace front. Now this is an average cap size and it's fitting wonderfully on my head. I'm typically an average cap size. So I would say the uh, fit is true to size. You could adjust it at the ear tabs or the nape if you needed a little more security. All right, I'm going to do a 360 because I feel like the highlight of this piece is the curls and you need to see it all the way around. So here we go. This is the right side. Here is the back. Lots of fun curls. And then here is the left side. And then all the way around. All right, there she is. I think she is such a fun piece. Again, this is devotion. It's spelled in its uh, the way it would you would spell it if you were saying it in Spanish. So the spelling of it, if you're looking for it online, is D E V O C I O N devotion which sounds French, but it's supposed to be Spanish. So this is Devotion. If you need her in your life, head on over to wigs by pattyspearls.com. The manufacturer is Beltrus. Again, the style is Devotion. And the beautiful color I'm showing you today is Coconut Silver Blonde. All right, I will see you guys next time. Bye.